Good afternoon. And I'm going to share with you some verses from uh, John chapter 3. And I'm going to be reading in, about the what Mashiach had to say about being born again and born from above. And uh, Yahushua said unto uh, Nicodemus, he said, uh, Nicodemus said, I know that you are a man come from uh, Yahuwah, for no man can do the works, the miracles that you do, except Yahuwah be with him. And Yahushua answered and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, or born from above, he cannot enter the kingdom of Yahuwah. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old and enter into the second time into the mother's room and be born? Now, of course, Nicodemus is thinking naturally, and the Mashiach is talking about spiritual birth. He's talking about that a man must be born again to enter the kingdom of Yahuwah. And, he, and he, Yahushua said, verse 5, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of Yahuwah. Now, I know the word God is used in our English translations, but we know that, that the word uh, Yahuwah, our Creator's name, His name has actually been uh, hidden or edit, edited out of our English translations and su substituted with titles like Lord, and, and in some cases the word God has been used to, to uh, replace His name. So that's why I like to, when I read the scripture, put His name back in where it should be. Um, it's, verse 6 says, That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Now, Yahushua is talking about you know, that. He wasn't taught. That's why he's explaining that which is born of the flesh. We can all understand that is born of the flesh, but that which is born of the spirit, or the ruach, is spirit. He says that, uh, and he, he skips on down. We'll skip on down to verse fourteen. He says, "As Moses or Moshe lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish." But have eternal life. Eternal life is what the Mashiach came to give you and I. That's what we needed. Uh, mankind did not just need to say a moral code or to live by. He actually needed life. He needed the nature of the of the Creator, and he had lost that in the Garden of Eden when Adam rebelled against Yahuwah. And took upon him and, and, and aligned with Shaitan or Satan and took on the nature of darkness. And that was the purpose, the reason why a man has to be born again. He needs to have the nature of the spirit of the Ruach of the Creator. I hope this helps you today. And uh, please share this with others. And I'll join you together on our next session when we get together on our next teaching. Shalom.